Good morning. How y'all do all? Um, this your brother Lita. And um, just talking to brothers and sisters about some of the things that uh we are dealing with. If I was trying to renew the covenant of the creator to reestablish ourselves as a, a people and as a nation and uh, how we supposed to conduct ourselves uh, according to the word of God. And then it is very important that uh, we try to find ourselves and learn what it is that we should be doing and how we supposed to uh, overcome things in this habitat by being obedient to the Creator. See, the most high say, well, you put us here for a reason to be punished, to show humbleness, in order that we will learn how to serve him and be obedient to his laws and commandments. So the thing is about renewing another covenant is to learn the laws and to learn how to be obedient to our God. So I wanted to read Second Chronicles 15 and, and show how Asa reestablished the covenant and what importance it had the people of Israel. Uh, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Oded. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin, the Most High is with you. While ye be with him, and if ye seek him, he will be found of you. But if ye forsake him, he will forsake you. Now for a long season, Israel have been without the true God and without a teaching priest and without law. But when they in their trouble did turn unto the most high God of Israel and saw him, he was found of them. And in those times, there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in, but great vexation were upon all the inhabitants of the countries. A nation was destroyed of nation, a city of city. For God did vex them with all adversity. Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. And when Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Oded the prophet, he took courage and put away the abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin and out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim and renewed the altar of the Most High that was before the porch of the Most High. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin and the strangers with them out of Ephraim and Manasseh and out of Simeon, for they fell to him out of Israel in abundance. When they saw that the Most High is God was with him, so they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month in the 15th year of the reign of Asa, and they offered unto the Most High the same time of the spoil which they had brought, 700 oxen and 7,000 sheep. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Most High God of their fathers with all their hearts and with all their souls. And whosoever would not seek the Most High God of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. And they swear unto the Most High with a loud voice and with shoutings and with trumpets and with cornets. All Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and saw him with their whole desire. And he was found of them, and the Most High gave them rest round about. And also concerning Maoch, the mother of Asa the king, he removed her from being queen because she had made an idol in the grove, and Asa cut down her idol and stamped it and burnt it at the brook Kadron. But the high places were not taken away out of Israel. Nevertheless, the heart of Asa was perfect all his days. And he brought into the house of God the things that his father had dedicated and that he himself had dedicated, silver and gold and vessels. And there was no more war 
according to the five and thirtieth year of the reign of Asa. So the the thing is, what we're trying to understand is how you reestablish peace in the world between all the nations is to renew a covenant. What God said that everybody will be under this covenant to live according to the words of God and be obedient to the commandments. And see, not only did Asa do this, but we also see this done with King Hezekiah, King Josiah. Each time the covenant was renewed was when Israel returned home and was obedient to the law. So we have to understand what we dealing with is trying to learn to be committed to God's law and be obedient as his people and a servant unto him. And this is why everything uh, is important with uh, us, you know what I'm saying, as far as trying to learn the laws and learning how to live according to the will of God. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, this is what we're trying to understand that uh, in order for us to live and have a successful life in this world is all about being obedient to the word of God and learning his commandments and learning how to live as a people, forming a community that established the laws of God or how God wants us to live. So um, with that being said, I mean, we look through history, plenty of uh, kings that are uh, brought back Israel into their land here to reestablish the laws in order for the world to be at peace that there would not be violence or, or a war amongst nations. And so this is what we're trying to get at for people who want to seek the creator, who want to be obedient to the law, who want to establish a, a peace amongst the nations, that this is what we have to do. No man or no government can give us justice and peace in this world unless it's through God. So we have to understand people who's learning who they are, learning how to live according to the ways of the covenant, to establish peace amongst their people, amongst the whole world. This is something that we have to take heed in, who's willing to commit to learn the laws, live according to the laws and apply the laws into our everyday life because not only do uh peace be established amongst the people but amongst their homes just as well so i mean i pray that our brothers and sisters that we all wake up and get and come to understanding that this is something that needs to be done with our people and uh i pray that uh god give us the uh, the mercy Rants about him and him alone that he bring us peace and bring us back home. And uh, I just want to end this video because it's just short. Because this basically you have to go through all the laws and tests. I mean the testimony to know all the kings that brought Israel back home and to understand that in order for us to have peace. Covenant is the only thing that's established peace because it was given by God. And he's the only one that could establish peace throughout the world. So with that being said, I want to say, uh, say la. I like to thank uh, brothers and sisters who out there are learning about themselves and learning to live. And hey, this is going to be a tough road for us trying to go, get back to our culture and our ways because we so used to living a life that we 
normally live, that uh, I pray that God just do something for us. You know, we got to give up these old habits sooner or later. So with that being said, I want to say uh, to allow what David said to the most high. I pray that brothers and sisters come together. And I'll uh, see you again uh, in the next video. I hope you get a chance to talk and be able to uh, establish a community that's still with the laws of God that we can come together and be obedient and uh, be service to the Creator. So uh, I can say, uh, for uh, I pray for pre for peace. And, uh, hey, hope to see y'all again in this uh, next video. Talk to you there.